Hello, welcome back to Zebra Force. So I've been releasing an EP a month since November, and it is currently February, and I've recently given this some more deep thought than I ever did prior to starting this project, and I thought, uh, why not make a video about it? You know, maybe answer some questions, that sort of thing. First of all, I don't plan on doing these forever. That said, I don't have an end date for when I will stop releasing an EP a month. I think 12 months feels like a good time period that, that seems adequate, but who knows? I might continue to enjoy it beyond those 12 months. Will I ever make a project longer than four songs again? Yes, I have a few ideas of some album concepts that I would like to get moving forward within the next year or two, but we'll do a little progress report at the 12 month mark and uh, see where I'm at. I'm doing this for a few very specific reasons, and as long as I continue to stay passionate about these reasons, I'll likely continue doing this regular release schedule. Over the last two years or so, I've slowly built up my habit of making to where I make, even if it's a, a terrible four bar loop, I make something about five to six days a week. So committing to releasing four complete songs a month just seemed like the right next step to furthering this habit. And I've always had a weird fascination with very prolific artists and masters of improv. And I'm on a very long-term mission to channel both of those things within myself. I kind of always thought it would be cool to do a very regular release schedule ever since I put out the very first few songs. And I think this comes from my passion for making being a little bit stronger than my passion for playing. I get much more joy from the creative production process than I do progressing my skills on just one instrument or even being productive and creative on one instrument. And in some cases, I enjoy the creative process more than I enjoy playing live. And I really love playing live. I like being in the studio, free to be me in any capacity. Not free to be me as a drummer, not free to be me as a guitarist, but just free to be me. And me is this. It's doing whatever I feel I need to do to express emotions, develop stories, build characters, etc., etc. We live in a world where media is consumed and then immediately discarded. People just do not buy albums to listen to front to back on their own anymore. People will find a song that they like, add it to their liked songs, and then they might go into the artist profile and hit shuffle. Or they find a song on a playlist that they like, add it to their songs, and move on. That's a far more common scenario than anyone listening to an album front to back. In 2024, that's just the way it is. Obviously, those people who do listen to full albums still exist. I am one of them, but I am also guilty of playing my part in those other two scenarios I just described. I'm very interested to know just what percentage of people who listen to albums all the way through are also musicians or are working or have worked in some sort of field in the music industry. The general public is after convenience and I will admit, appreciating a full album in its entirety is just not a convenient activity. I feel very compelled by the nature of our time period to not only make stuff consistently to appease some sort of algorithm on a content platform, but also to find some sort of a release schedule that is unique to me and highlights what I do best. We live in a world where as individuals, we get to pick what parts of the old ways of doing things we like and what parts we don't like. We can do that now. We can release an EP a month and it's totally fine. That's just my thing. It might not be your thing. It might not be somebody else's thing. That's my thing. Somebody who spends no time outside might want to release a song every day. Who knows? I mean, there's got to be somebody out there. We get to do things our way in our modern era. And personally, I feel like the best artists in history aren't necessarily the ones that create some monumental piece of work that's remembered for 
generations and generations, but it's the artists who are able to take stock of everything happening in their time period and create something that's beautifully unique to that and also represents themselves as a human being. Personally, that's my mission. So coincidentally, I've grown up infatuated with prolific artists and grew up in a time period of rapid media creation. When people complain about the rapid rate of media creation and consumption today, I definitely understand and empathize with all of the negative aspects of it, but I'm also very driven by it. The oversaturation on paper should deter me from wanting to release anything because nobody's ever going to see it. But actually, it does the complete opposite. So I guess I'm a product of my time. I started teaching some beginner production lessons around town. If you live in the Denver, Colorado area, uh, hit me up. I'm available for private lessons. I've been really enjoying it. And having a more personal relationship with some of these people has led me to feel even more compelled to further share my world with other people. And that's where this whole YouTube thing has sparked. My mission is to grow an online community of passionate music producers that are helping and supporting each other's work. Tall order? Maybe. We'll see. But since feeling more compelled to share on video format, creating more music is a requirement. If I want to make videos about creating music, I have to create more music. Potentially more music than I ever have created. <laughs> So these two hobbies are totally fusing together for me, making music and making videos. They are completely intertwined. I have this new rule now where I'm not allowed to work on one or the other without one affecting the other. They're totally synergistic in my mind from now on. And I am really, really enjoying it so far. These are just a few key points that are currently driving my process. If you like this sort of video, this just talking to a camera type of thing, please defenestrate that like button. And if you have anything productive to add to this conversation, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun. Be safe. I'll see you tomorrow.